Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Check out the top right eye and also consider becoming a patron if you want. That the link is in the description as well. Otherwise, thank you so much for the support anyway. Check out this video. What we're going to do today is we're going to go through this get input int and just fix it in a very simple way. Now C Sharp has added a nice thing called a nullable struct. And this nullable struct you can use for types that are not nullable usually. So an integer you can't set to null. But sometimes it's nice to do it since I don't want this minus 10 value here. I want to check for null. So I'm going to use nullable and then int just like that. And now we can set that int to null. And we can also check it for null, but you have to use it in a different way. Since this is now a struct, we can check it for null, but we can also, we have to remove this. We have to set, we can't return the struct itself. We need to get either value or default or just a value. Okay, and this will either give the value it has or the default value of the underlying type. But I'm just gonna say value here. And I'm going to give that back since we're throwing an exception until it's null. If it's not null, obviously we've got a good value in here. And then you should be good. Now you should be able to crash your game as much as you want here. It shouldn't be a problem. And then you'll just get a input like that and you're good to go. All right. And one more thing I noticed is that we're not printing. We're not printing the, the menu out every time we want to get that input since here we're printing out the menu but in here we're not and that might be an issue for you um, obviously so we, we're gonna look into that later we need to see we need to find a good way to do that um, maybe we can make this check here if it's null or not we'll see we'll see how we do that but that's fine for now anyway let's get started with all the fun stuff let's make sure we can select the character and to do that, we have our character list, which is protected. We're also going to make a protected character, active character. And this character is this active character equals null for now. It's, it has nothing. It's nothing. It's going to pick one from the character list. And while it's null, we can't really start the game. So let's make a comment here while the active character variable is null one cannot start the game okay so let's check that if this active character is null we can do a bunch of things else we'll start the game so we'll put this as start game and this will be error and here we're just going to write a little console dot write line we're going to say uh, there is no active character selected please select one before st starting the game good so just a little nice nice print out nothing special and maybe we should do a error on that get so what do we have here we have get input announcement menu option menu title title let's do an announcement on that gy dot announcement gy dot announcement i think that's a yellow one or we can make an error one as well all that but we'll just start with this. Start the game. Boom, boom, boom. All good to go. And then we'll obviously push the game state. The state game with the active character in here. And then we'll use that inside the game itself. Which is amazing, which is great. So let's, but let's keep it like this. Let's keep it like this. Let's try and see how this goes. Uh, now, first of all, we want to select an active character. To do that, we're going to list all the characters 
in a regular for loop actually I shouldn't have done this for int this character list dot count so we'll go through all of those let's print all of these let's remove this print all of these but also an I there we go list at position I dot two string so now we're printing out the equal sign there there we go okay so now we're printing out which position all of these characters are in and then we will select that so let's say print all characters to select and let's make an int choice equals GUI dot get input int message let's say selection like that now we'll get a character selection and we're gonna see if choice is less than zero or greater or equal to this character list dot count or choice then we're gonna have a problem here then we're gonna have a problem uh, or we can do it the other way less than this character list dot. then we're fine we'll do something else we'll throw some kind of error we could either do this or we could do that in a try catch block try let's do the try now we're, while we're still working with this exception handling let's try this catch but the other way I did you can do as well if you want but we'll try this we'll try this for now so we're gonna try to say this this dot active character equals this dot character list at position I so we'll select that uh, da, 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 da. or choice choice at position choice am I even recording am I yeah okay good the console state okay very strange character and then we need to convert this to a character because it doesn't really know what it is but okay we'll we'll cast that still we'll do that and then we'll try to put that in there if it doesn't work we're gonna we're gonna print out an exception console dot right line e dot message just cleanly print that out for us good let us try otherwise it's gonna throw the exception dot right and here we're gonna print a success message if everything works out as intended uh, the character at zero or we'll put the name actually should we put the name you can use one of these maybe character uh, this active character dot to string Uh, is selected good 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 we can do a GUI again I keep forgetting these announcement was selected good we'll see if that works out that will give a nice string now the dollar sign what that does is 
I learned that from my good friend on the stream, Mr. PhD, is that it, you can add any kind of variables within the stream and it will make a nice string out of all that together. So that's good guys. So once we do this, maybe we can select the character, hopefully. We'll see if this works. Uh, let's go to select character. Let's say two. Okay, that was out of there. And the issue here is we are actually throwing something uh, right here. So this should not be, you know what we'll do? We'll leave that alone for now. And we'll just throw the exception if it doesn't. Let's try this again. Character, select character, two, out of range. Good. Very good. Three, let's create a character. New character. Something. And then we will go back. And then select the character. It says, so I can do zero. And then that will work. Very good. And then that will work. I thought this would throw, if it throws an exception here, it catches it, it prints. You can't really do anything else here after that. This is very interesting, but we can do this. If, uh, if this active character is not null, then we'll print this out. Good. We're in this one last time, guys. One last time. Select the character, say four out of range. Good, 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 good. And of course, we are doing a. Here we go. Character selection. Get input int. Let's just do that first. Let's go to get input int and let's say message in here because that's what I'm doing wrong. I need a message in there there you go guys so now you should be able to print out properly everything should be fine now we can select the character the next step in the next video is going to be to actually start the game using this character so that's going to be fun hopefully you enjoyed this video check out the description box drop a like subscribe check out the top right eye also yeah thanks for watching thanks for all the support take care i'll see you in the next one Bye bye